let's start by logging into our Netscope Cloud tenant. As always, through Okta, to provide us with centralized user management and MFA since this is a public-facing cloud portal. If we go to the backend settings page of the tenant, here we can see that both Gmail and Google Drive have been integrated with this tenant as per the green number ones against their icons. This means that the Netscope Cloud tenant has visibility of these Google instances and also has permission to perform certain actions therein. Returning to the front end, if we go into view our API integration information, we now have a complete inventory of every file that exists within Google Drive. Any file that exists in Google Drive or is uploaded to the application is automatically checked for threats, and we can see there are some that are a cause for concern. Behind the scenes, I have also configured a DLP policy to check for GDPR information within the content of all files in Google Drive, and this too has yielded some results. And we get other key pieces of information such as how many users exist within the platform. We can go deeper and see granular information about the files that Netscope has identified as being problematic, such as by clicking to view the DLP flagged items, or by way of inspecting the malware flagged items. Note that when Netscope is integrated in this way, we have the power to take action on files like these, such as taking full control of them, removing external shares, etc. With malware, we can also configure it to automatically quarantine the file within the same cloud application and inform the user as to what just happened to their file. We can also easily create new policies to inspect the files for other types of content based upon our business need, such as if we were financial, we could choose to check for PCI information. Within the policy screen, we just choose our app and our instance. The users that the policy is to be applicable for, the content type, our DLP profile, and what automatic action to take when discovered. Lastly, on the visibility side of things, Netscope would usually be recording user activity if their traffic was steered to Netscope, such as via an installed Netscope client. But with API integration, all events are recorded even if the user was to log in from a personal machine. This is because it is Google telling Netscope what is going on inside of the application. If you wish to know more about Netscope and how it can assist your organization in today's SASE and cloud-based world, then please get in touch with us at info at And thank you for watching.